Hello my friend, my name is Kenneth Brown. Welcome to channel Signatech and in the video for today, I'm going to go ahead and show you how you could clear your cache for Windows 10 or Windows XP or 9 or whatever version of Windows you are using. This method basically works with Windows 10, but you could try it with any other versions of Windows that you are on. If you have a laptop or a PC, it doesn't matter. You can use this method to clear your cache so that your computer is up and running again as smooth as butter. So let me dive straight in. The first thing what you could do is get to software distribution to clear the cache from there. So to do that, you need to click on PC. I'm sure you have a you know Windows 10 operating system. So this is exactly what you need to do. All right. After you click on PC, click on C drive and go to Windows. All right. Open this folder and scroll down to approximately the middle of the page. So you see software distribution out here. You click on downloads and you could actually delete everything from here. So once you clear the downloads from the software distribution folder, what's going to happen is your computer system or PC is going to be boosted up. OK, the speed is going to be better compared to before. So you could clear this off and you could delete it from the recycle bin as simple and easy as this. The other thing what you could do is you could also go to your temporary folder. Now to get to your temporary folder, it's very simple and easy. You could either get to this PC and go to C drive and you know pull out your temporary folder. But what I would suggest is do it through the run command to get the run box what you need to do is hit the Windows and the R button. That is a shortcut. You could actually just type in TEMP out here and hit the enter button or you could select OK. Once you do that, the temporary folder would open up out here and you could delete everything from this folder as simple and easy as that. You could see here that some of these files are being used by my computer system. So you could leave that. OK, as I am I'm going to leave it so I could checkbox this and click on skip. You could do the same. Now, once you do this, your temporary folder is going to be empty and this is going to add up to the speed of your computer system. So next you could go to the recycle bin and empty out everything. OK, once this is done, your temporary folder is clear. The next thing what you could do is pull up the run command Windows and R button and type in percentage temp again percentage and hit the enter button of your laptop or you could select OK. Do that and you get to this folder. All right. Now you could clear this entire folder as well. All right. You could select everything and delete everything. And this is not at all going to you know, affect your computer system in any way. These are all temporary files that are actually useless, to be very honest with you. OK, so you could checkbox this because you may have files open on your computer system, which is being used by the system. So you checkbox this and click on skip. All right. Once you do that, this folder is going to clear out all the unnecessary files to give you more space. OK, so you go to recycle bin and empty the recycle bin. All right. Some of you may have the auto clean option. What I mean by that is, you know, when you select everything in a folder and you delete it, it gets deleted directly. It doesn't go to the recycle bin. So that is also OK. All right. This also works with that system. So once everything is cleared out from this folder, you could do the next thing. OK, to clear up more cache. The next thing what you could do is pull up the run command Windows R and type in prefetch. So prefetch is another folder on which you have temporary files, which you could delete to free up your cache on your computer system. All right. So you select everything and delete it. Once you do that, all the deleted files go to the recycle bin. You could empty the recycle bin so that your memory is actually free. Again, you may have files open in this folder, but that's absolutely OK because your computer system is actually using these files. So the next thing what you could do is go to your command prompt and clear your cache from there. So to get to your command prompt, you could do Windows R again, go to the run box and type in CMD and hit the enter button. Once you do that, you get your command prompt. What you could type here is IP config. So it's IP C O N F I G forward slash flush capital D N S. 
hit the enter button. This is going to flush out the DNS resolver catch. Apart from clearing off the DNS catch, you could also reset your Windows profile. Again, to do that, you could pull up your run box, the Windows key and the R button. You get this box here, you type in WS reset and hit the enter button. Once you do this, Windows would automatically reset itself so that it opens faster. So whenever you want to type something out here or whenever you want to pull up the Windows options search box, that becomes faster. Now, apart from resetting the Windows prompt, what you could also do is clear off your location setting. Now, to do that, you could just go to the search box and type in location. Once you type in location, hit the enter button and your computer would search for the folder having location settings. So you scroll down a bit and you clear off your location history. Once you do this, you would also have additional free space on your computer system. Now, apart from clearing off your location settings, you could also go to your browser and clear the history from there. Maybe you could go to the Chrome browser, type in control H and once you do that, you would have an option here to clear off browsing history. You click on this link or button or tab, whatever you want to call it. Uh, go to advanced, checkbox everything and click on clear data. I wouldn't want to do that because I have already cleared off my computer system and I have important files and cookies on my browser. Okay, so you could do this. You could also go to the Edge browser or whatever browser you are using, Firefox or maybe Opera or whatever it is. You could go to the history for those browsers and clear off the history because that is going to free up a lot of space on your computer system and make your browsers more fast. Now, apart from clearing off your browser, you could also get to the system restore point and free up some space from there. So you can just type in system restore point in the search box and hit the enter button. Once you do that, you get this pop up. You can select Windows C system, click on configure and you can see here that you have some space which is actually being occupied by you know useless files so you could clear this off so you could delete this and once you do that you could claim back some space and once you're done with this you close the window and you create a new system restore point so you select this windows c system and click on create and name your system restore point so you can just type in new and click on create. Once you do this, a new system restore point would be created for your computer system. All right, this is very important. You need to do this so that you ensure that you actually have a restore point on your computer system. This is important for backups and files that is necessary for your Windows 10 operating system or maybe your Windows 8 operating system or XP or whatever it is. So this would do its thing. You could leave it as it is. It may just take some time depending on your PC or laptop space or memory. So once this is so once this is done, you get a pop up like this and you click on close. You could close this box and move on to the next method to clear off catch from your Windows 10 system. Okay. Now, apart from all these methods I've shown you to clear off your memory on your computer system, you could also do a direct disk cleanup. To do that, it's very simple and easy. On a Windows 10 operating system, you go down to the search box. So you could type in disk cleanup. Once you do that, you could hit the enter button of your laptop or your PC and select OK. Now, what's going to happen is your computer system is going to show you all the useless files on your C drive. Okay, so you get a pop up like this and you see here all the files that you could delete so that you have some free space. Okay, you click on clean up system files. Once you do that, you get a pop up like this and click OK. Once you click on OK, your computer system would actually start cleaning up your C drive. All the useless files that you selected, remember, would be cleaned up completely from your computer system. Now, this may just take some time depending on your PC's ROM or, uh, you know, your memory size. So just let it do its thing. OK, so once that is done, you get a pop up like this again, select OK. Once you click on OK, you get a pop up like this, which is a warning, which is going to tell you that this is going to be permanent. OK, so if you are sure, you could click on delete files. Now, once you click on delete files, you get another pop up like this, which is going to tell you how long it is going to take to clean up your C drive from all those useless files. So this could take some time. Let it do its thing. But 
basically these are all the manual methods that you could use to free up some space on your computer system and of course make it fast so today before i you know got into my computer system before i logged in when i was just uh, you know trying to type in something here in the search box it was very slow now once i perform this task of uh, you know cleaning up my memory or cleaning up my cache on my windows 10 computer system this is opening up faster so if i just put my mouse pointer out here and click this opens up very fast as compared to how it was performing earlier okay it was very slow but now my computer system has become fast let me tell you one more thing that you also get softwares to perform these functions but uh, most of these softwares would require a membership fee or a one-time fee or something like that i would not suggest you actually download these softwares because most of them may just have some trojans or you know some adwares or malwares it's always better to do the clearing manually for your Windows 10 PC or Windows 8 PC or Windows 7 or XP or whatever it is. So if this works for you, fantastic. You could use this method, clean up your computer system once a week and you are definitely going to have a faster PC. And of course, that is going to bring a smile on your face. Peace out.